Hey guys, it's Athena. I feel like it's been forever since we've talked, but I guess it's only been a week or two. But I wanted to put a video out before another week passes because there's something really cool I'd like to share with you. As you know, I am a huge lover of podcasts and one of them I pay a little monthly fee to help support them. It's the one I've listened to the longest, uh, New World Witch Read. So I'm one of their Patreon supporters and I'm at the highest level so I get a little uh, shout out in every episode. One of the perks of being a Patreon supporter, let's adjust this shall we, I feel like I'm peeking in from the bottom. Uh, one of the perks is you get a little yearly love package, a little thank you package. And it came as a total surprise to me when I came home from work. I think it was this past week. And there was a package sitting on my front step and I thought, Ooh, what is this? And I, oh, and I looked and it was from New World Witchery. And I wanted to share with you the goodies in it, in it because they're so cool. So the lovely brown box. I took some pictures because I, I wasn't going to wait until I could do a video. I don't have delayed gratification mastered in my world and I don't really even intend on trying to do that. But I will say um, I took pictures as I opened it to kind of show you what it looked like. I might try to stick those in during this video, but but mostly I kept it intact after I went through it and squeed and cheered and did all that fun stuff. So, we'll lower this a, little, a bit more, shall we? Mm -hmm. All right, in the lovely box of, of treats. It was packaged so nicely. This letter had a red ribbon around it with a little key attached, which I just dropped. A nice little key. And, and the letter has two parts to it. There's a letter from Corey and a letter from Lane, the two hosts on the podcast. And they're just very kind. Thank you. Thank you letters. On the last page is one of Lane's spells. It's a secret garden finding spell and the key comes in handy for this. And I can't share with you the spell because you're just going to have to be a Patreon of these wonderful people. Other things they included. Some of you will freaking love this. I have never had a graphic novel. I uh, I miss that whole genre. I know how popular it is just because of school and uh, superhero stuff, but but this was pretty amazing. So this is something I'm going to have to hide and keep away from the little guy because if he opens it with his uh, you know fear of so much, it would scar him for life. But it does look amazing. So this was one. Lane included her favorite book and I love this book too. I used to use this 20 years ago when I was interning as a student teacher and the fourth grade I interned in this was one of their books so I will uh, I, I might share this one with my, my third graders. This is a fantastic story and book and I'm sure many of you know. This is so cool. A CD. It's funny, you may know this, but I just bought a new car recently and uh, cars don't have CD players in, anymore. I guess that's like extra. And that's cool because I don't, I just listen to things I've downloaded, but I want to be listening to this. So, songs in the back. Can you see that? I haven't opened this yet. I am looking forward to, to trying it out and seeing what, what's up with this. I'll save this for last. This is the thing I got most excited about because anytime I get actual materials or ingredients, I know with the first package they gave commanding oil and I use it with almost every spell I do. I did one yesterday um, and it has very nice results. I should show you that. Let me see if I can get that for you. This one came with the first love package. They call it swag. The first swag package. And it has inside it, oh, I don't know if you can see, 
it's got um, it's got some dry ingredients inside the oil, and then it's got a written petition. They are they're largely hoodoo based in folklore and folk magic and stuff that's been around in um, the Americas since Europeans came over. So that's pretty cool. But this time it was the little bag, and I have to read it. I was holding it upside down. Fear no evil, a charm bag designed to guard against harm and send bad things back to where they come from. Mm. I like you so much. I haven't opened it yet because I just love it so much. I love the brown paper package all tied up in string. I won't say it. I can't wait to check that out. The last, last, last thing I wanted to share that came in the package and that will lead me, I'm thinking about doing a second part to this video, but a deck of playing cards. Now, these playing cards are freaking amazing. Wicked Kingdom. And they put a link in their letter and I went online and checked out the artist who created these. I'm gonna read what they said. Perhaps the centerpiece of the bundle, though, is the illustrated deck of playing cards called the Wicked Kingdom Deck by artist Wiley Beckert. I'll hold it this way. And if you want to look her up, it's a her. Um, it's Wicked Kingdom Deck, one word, dot com. We initially backed them on Kickstarter because we like the art and I love any cards that have a clear sense of story to them. But when we saw the advanced work Miss Beckert was doing and the layers of meaning she puts into the cards, well, we had to get them for you. Aww. If you use playing cards for divination, these work marvelously well in that capacity. I think I said marvelously. Marvelously. Mm, syllables. But they also just make a beautiful deck to keep on hand as well. We hope you like them. We certainly do. Yeah, I like them. Holy crap. So I won't show you all of the cards, but you guys, for anyone who likes tarot, um, these are playing cards, but they're amaze balls. There's an ace of spades. And then just the, the numbered spades look like that. But the story, which you can read online, the story of the cards lie in the Jack King and Queen. And so what's very cool is I guess you could read it as a reversal. That's one side of Jack of Spades, but then check out the other side. My hand is shaking. I'm not nervous. Wow. And Queen, look at that. Ooh. King look a little crazy. I ain't lying. Look at this guy. Crazy. Wow. They hardly look like diamonds. It took me a second. Check out this guy. One side. Oh, power hungry? A little bit. This one, she's like one of these oracles where she is blinded or blind and lives like in an underground mountain or I don't know. But, you know, that's pretty cool. King, if Santa was, was evil. What? Steampunk Santa? I like. And I'm kind of out of order here, but here's the king of clubs. Kind of rock star crazy, dude. A little more calm there. Queen. A little scary. Jack. That's pretty awesome. And I didn't get a chance to show you the ace for that one. King of Hearts. Look at this guy. All right. A ladies man, right? He's corrupt as hell. I think I married that guy. The queen. How does she stay young? Well, her servants disappear. Her young maiden servants and 
looks like she rubs it on her face. Very uh, American Horror Story coven. Fancy Jack. Hmm. Doesn't that look like a tattoo? <laughs> Very awesome. The two jokers, there's a female and a male. Uh oh, there's the the lady joker. And the dude joker. Scary. So the reason New World Witchery is and Corey specifically is into playing cards is he does his divination with playing cards instead of tarot. He's actually quite good at it and he has published a book. When he first came out with the book a few years ago, long before Patreon and long before he knew me in any capacity, I bought his book because I try to support the people I love and um, there's still some people out there I need to buy things from, like I want to still buy stuff from. Uh, Joey Morris. I still plan to buy something from Ravenflower. Um, I have bought things from the witch formerly known as Eden. I have bought th many, many, many things. Always incense from Nadia. Lady Jane's Bewitchery. I've ordered something from Witchy Bear and I'm very eager for it to come. It's been a while, but I'm spoiled by Amazon. I'm used to, you know, I just hit click. Where is it? So <laughs> it's been a little while since then. I bought the the cards that are when full fairy tale Lenormand cards. I try to support my friends and the people I love and admire. So I bought this long, long ago. And then with the first love mail from Corey and Lane, I got another copy. Well, this one I will be keeping because it is autographed. But this one, which I haven't even cracked the spine. I've peeked through it, but I haven't read it yet. More than a little skim. This one is going to go in my giveaway when I get to 2,000 subscribers, which it takes me a while to build up. I get about 1,000 a year at the rate I'm going, and I ain't complaining. I'm just saying my next giveaway, this will be included. And I have found it's fun to have a box, a small box that you just sort of put things in slowly and then that way when it's time for a giveaway you've got a nice little box of treasures that of things you're going to share and give away the whole point of this book is how to use playing cards as divination and that is something I have started and I've bought a few decks of playing cards you know just your your typical ones but some of them that I bought I don't know that I could use for divination. Like, I thought these would be very cool. But they don't seem to have a rhyme or reason to them. They're lovely. But I don't know. And you know what? I will, on another day, I will share these. You know, because it will it would take forever. I feel like they pretty much just have random pictures. Like, I don't know why that would be the queen of spades. Um, and then, like, a wand... You know, I'll share those maybe possibly another day. I think Poochie is home or about to be home. So I'm going to sign off now. But I guess in sum, check out New World Witchery. Listen to their shows. Go back as far as you can because they've been on for at least five years now. And they are chock full of fun and down home uh, folk magic. They're awesome. I think anybody would really enjoy them. I think if you have any interest at all in folk magic or granny magic or powwow and hoodoo, you you might enjoy them. You would I think you would definitely enjoy them. I'm devastated <laughs> that there's a meetup on June 3rd in Pennsylvania, and that's only a few hours away from me. They're going to have a meetup with fans and Patreon people going through a museum with some witchy artifacts and then going on a ghost hunt that night. There's like almost nothing in this world that would get in the way of me going. But something got in the way. My son's graduation party. It's not his actual graduation, but it's the day we celebrate. And <laughs> I can't, I can't put my, my obsessive love and desire above my son. So it breaks my heart. I can't go. Damn. Yeah. Oh well. Now I'm depressed. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a happy weekend. Ooh. 
In case you didn't see the announcement, Noah and Ravenflower are doing a insane 24-hour live chat this coming up Friday, March 31st at 9 p.m., I think. I don't know if it's Central or Eastern, and lasting 24 hours. I am going to be on it talking with Madame Luna, and I'm fangirling over that. And uh, we're during their last hour or so, so I'm sure we're going to get the, the loopy tired <laughs> Noah and Raven, which should be quite hilarious. My request to you guys, please join us. Please watch as much as you can here and there. And also, please say a little prayer that my internet will, will hold up because my internet tends to <laughs> poo down on me. It did that the last time I had a, a live chat with Noah. So I'm going to do some work in this week and find some crystals. There's some crystals they say are good for um, technology. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put as much woo-woo stank on it to try to keep that from happening. But if you can send some technological love and white light this way, that would be awesome. Okay, I have yammered on long enough. Have a lovely week. See you soon. Peace.